Hey friends, happy Friday. Today is Friday, April 3rd. The first thing I want to do with you guys is do our third observation for our Caterpillar journal. So last video that I sent, we did observation number one, which was the eggs on the leaves because that was the first thing our caterpillars were. Our second observation was our big fat caterpillars when they had eaten all of their food. And now for our third observation, our caterpillars have made their little cocoons. It's kind of hard to see through the netting, but I don't want to move them around too much. But you can see that they've all made their cocoons. And they're in there changing into their butterfly form. So for observation number three, I would like for you guys to draw your cocoons. Now you can draw yours hanging on a tree branch or on a stick or something like that. Or you can draw them just like you see them in Miss Stephanie's little net here, hanging there on the top of their caterpillar jar that they're hanging on. But right now they're just kind of, they're kind of brown, a little bit of black. There's a little bit of gold in there. So if you wanna use some of those colors, but that's gonna be observation number three. It's your caterpillars in their cocoons. So maybe in about two weeks, week and a half maybe, um, on our that next video update that I do, maybe there'll be butterflies by then and we'll be able to do our fourth observation. And you guys can watch as I set them all free and let them go fly away. So today I wanna read you this story. It's called When Spring Comes. Since we've been talking about spring, our new season of spring. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. That's winter, right? That looks a lot like our picture of winter that we looked at the other week. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. This looks like our spring picture that we looked at with the pretty pink trees. There's some bunny rabbits and some pretty flowers blooming. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Why does it make the snow smaller and smaller and smaller? Because it's getting warmer, right? And it melts the snow. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. So if you look outside right now, I know my grass outside is a little bit brown with some green starting to mix in because it's getting warmer. So the green grass is starting to grow in. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. It's the seed and the seedling and the sprout, which we kind of learned about if you guys read the story, The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. Spring comes with sun and it comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. So they're starting to grow some vegetables back there. It looks like green beans and carrots, little sprouts and seedlings coming through here. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. It's kind of been changing its mind a little bit this week. This morning, it was chilly outside. I would have had to wear a jacket if we went outside, but now it's starting to warm up so we can wear our t-shirts and we won't have to wear our jackets anymore. So it says sometimes it can change its mind before it starts to get warmer. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. Looks like she's still wearing her rain boots, just to be careful in case it rains. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it. You will smell it. You will hear it. So you're using all your senses. You can feel the warm air outside. You can smell 
probably the pretty new flowers blooming. And you can hear it, birds chirping. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. Here's some pictures to go along with summer when it gets super hot, eating ice cream, fireworks, flip-flops, beach balls, sailboats, if you're going out in the water somewhere. So now we're gonna take a look at the graph that Miss Stephanie made from all of your email responses. Thank you guys so much for responding to my question of which if you liked um, summer, fall, winter, or spring better. Miss Stephanie made a graph of everybody's answers and your videos, some of the videos that you guys sent me were so cute. Thank you so much for sending me your videos and your pictures of all the work that you've been doing. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the video of, um, I kind of did it in a separate form so we could see it better, an up close video, so everybody could see all the different names I put on there. And then I'm also going to um, upload a video that Miss Peggy sent us, a nice little hello, and I hope you're doing well. So that's it for this week. We're gonna take a look at the graph, but I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and spring break next week. Um, keep sending me pictures and videos. I love sending them. I miss you guys so much. I'm sending lots of love. And hopefully I'll get to see you guys soon. Maybe sometime in the summer or something. But go outside again. Enjoy the beautiful weather that we have. And I will see you guys soon. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try and get this in the video as best as I can so everybody can see it. But, okay. Over here we have summer. So our friends, Avion, Adam, Sophia, and Delara said that summer was their favorite. Let's see, Avion said summer was his favorite because he can play all day. Adam said summer was his favorite because of all the green and it's always sunny and he can go to the beach. Sophia said she loves summer. Um, let's see, Delara said summer because she loves jumping and playing in the pool and eating ice cream. And for fall, Grant said fall was his favorite. Miss Peggy and Miss Stephanie said that fall was their favorite. Grant said he liked fall because the leaves changed pretty colors. And then winter, this was surprising to Miss Stephanie how many friends said winter was their favorite. But Kishav, Lachlan, Augie, Matthew, Shahan, and Addison all said winter was their favorite. Um, Kishav said winter because it has snow. Lachlan said winter because it has snow and he can play in it. Augie said winter because he can play in the snow. Matthew said winter. Um, let's see. Shahan said winter because you can make a snowman. And Addison said winter because she likes snow and wants to play in it. Also, something kind of cool is Addison's middle name is winter. So, of course, she's going to like winter. Right, friends? And then for our spring season... Ashley said spring and Emma said spring was their favorites. Ashley said spring because it's hot and sunny and I like pink trees. And Emma said she likes spring the best. So let's see, when we look at this for our summer season, we'll count one, two, three, four. We had four friends that liked summer. For fall, we have one, two, three friends that liked fall. For winter, we have one, two, three, four, five, six friends that liked winter. And for spring, we have one, two. So let's see, let me get a marker so we can write down our numbers on each one of these. So we said... Let's see, summer here, we had four. For fall, we had three votes. For winter, we had six votes. And for spring, we have two votes. So which one has the most, friends? When we look at these, which one had the most votes? Now, let's see. I don't think it was four. I think there was one that had more than four. 
That means our names went up a little bit higher. I don't think it was three. We still had one that goes higher than that. I think the one that has the most is winter with six votes. That's the biggest number. See, that's the tallest one too when we look at them all. So winter had the most votes. And which one do we think had the least? That means the smallest number. So over here, summer had four. I don't think that's the smallest number. Fall had three. I think there's one that's still a little bit smaller than three. Six already was our most. We know that one had our most. Spring. Spring only has one, two votes. So that had the smallest number of votes. That's one we had the least of. Well, thank you guys for sending all your answers and your reasons for liking each season. It was fun to look through and read them all and make our graphs. Hi, friends. I'm just outside enjoying this beautiful weather. Um, I want you to know how much I miss you guys, and I wish we could be together the rest of the school year, but unfortunately we can't. But maybe this summer we can get together, have a picnic or a party. We'll figure something out because we want to see you again and say goodbye and wish you the best for when you go to kindergarten. Just remember, be good, listen to mom and dad, enjoy the wonderful weather, and we'll get to see you soon, I'm sure. I love you all and I miss you and we'll talk soon, okay? All right, bye guys.